Hello friends, welcome back to SQL with Manoj. Today I'll be talking about a new feature in SQL Server 2016 and uh, that is kind of a hidden feature. Uh, some of you might know about this feature but I think most of uh, the people don't know about this feature. So let me take you to SSMS where we'll see what is it. Okay, so here in SSMS I'll be talking about the if exist option that you can use with alter table and the drop statements. Okay, so please do not confuse the if exist with the if else statement that is the standalone if else statement this is the if exist option that goes in line with the alter and drop statement that we'll see below okay so let me show you the version that i'm working on so the version is uh, sql Server 2016 release candidate 2 and uh, i'll be using the adventure works database okay so let's use it Although I'm not using any table from this database, uh, but I'm creating this employee table in this database. Okay, and let's go ahead and create this table. Okay, now the alter table and the drop, both the operations I can do in this particular table and I show how this new feature works. So first of all, alter table thing goes. Okay, so now let's say I have to drop few columns. So it's simple alter table tbo dot employ okay drop then column let's say you want to drop this particular column and let's say you want to drop this particular column okay so this is it this is the traditional alter table statement okay so let I let's execute it so these two particular columns are gone let's check them Okay, employ and the columns. You cannot see these two columns, right? Vacation hours is active. Vacation hours and is active. These two columns are gone. Okay, now let's say if I execute it again, what have what will happen? This will give an error, right? So to avoid this error, what you can do is you can provide if exist in the middle, right? So when you provide this if exist option in the middle, this won't give an error because it will check if the column already exists or not. If the column exists, then it will drop. If it is not, then it will do nothing. So this statement is doing nothing right now, right? So uh, one more um, use, uh, I would say, of this exists not only is this, but you know, one more use is you can still you know add few more columns here. Column if if exist like this, okay, and so as you can see here we have created on column we have also have a constraint on it so uh, we'll have to drop the constraint also before dropping the column so column if exist and the constraint name sorry the constraint if exist constraint name right so it will go like this Now let's say in the first hand you had dropped these two, I would remove these two if exist, I would remove these if exist statements from here. And now let's say earlier you had removed these two columns. And now let's say you want to add these two columns the same alter statement, right? So it still will give you error because it, it, it has, it, it does not have sick leave hours and department name columns. So it will not drop the next two objects, right? So so this if exist option gives us the flexibility to have the deleted columns as well as have the undeleted columns and objects over here right so if you execute it it will execute very beautifully and it will drop the column as well as the constraint okay let me refresh it so you can see here is active and modified on right so it's created on column and the constraint is gone now let's see how the drop statement works okay with the if else statement so let's say you want to drop this table okay so drop table i would copy it right so drop table okay now let's say i execute it once okay so the table is gone let me go to tables and refresh it right you cannot see the table over here okay what if i execute it again it gives me error right because it says that because the table is not there and it says that you know you cannot drop the table again because the table is not there right so here again drop table if exist I can add this if exist option over here also so what will happen is 
it will not give any error right so it will silently check that if the table is present drop it if table is not present then move ahead and don't do anything right so this if exist option can be used with not only with the table but with stored procedures views functions and any of the object right so let me so let us see with the procedure okay so what i'm doing i'm creating a dummy stored procedure as begin select hello okay so let me execute it okay so our stored procedure is created now i will drop this stored procedure here drop procedure okay and if i execute it here once it will drop it but if i again execute again i'll get the same error so i can add if exist option here also and it won't give me the error again right so why this is necessary why it is important and why i really like this thing over here because you might not use these things daily right but these things are very important when you are bundling your code in a release right so when you are going for a uat or a production release your code might have to run multiple times so your code should be rerunable right so you have so what you can do is you can uh, do it like this traditionally before i would say in say before sql server 2016 and without this if exist option what we used to do was and everybody used to do is uh, like there is no if exist option so what you will do is you will check if if exist so this if exists is not, not this but if if exist is a statement you will check the existence of existence of this procedure in select star from information information schema dot routines where routine name where routine name is equal to the sp name right so you have to do all this previously right then begin and then end so you had to do all this previously so here you won't get any error right because if you were executed multiple times right i'm executing this multiple times right execute 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 this won't give any error because there is an if exist condition over here so this is a statement so now what they have done is this statement they have put it over here like this right so if you execute this multiple times so it is equivalent to this right so you won't have to write this code multiple times right and similar here also drop table you would have to you know have this statement like this for the drop table also and similarly for the alter column also right so this is the advantage of the if exist option okay now let's see how this behaves in sql server 2014 and uh, the previous environments uh, to 2016 right so this is my sql server 2014 let me execute and show you this is microsoft sql server 2014 and i'm using tempdb database um, let me copy paste the whole uh, thing over here right so i'll remove it Okay, let me create a new table over here. Same table I'm going to create. Okay, this table is created. Let me show you the table. Right, this table is here. Okay, all the columns. Okay, now let me execute it. Okay, with the same option. Okay, so it says that incorrect syntax near the keyword because it does not exist. Because it does not exist in SQL Server 2015. So what I'll do is I'll remove it. Okay. I just want to show you the behavior, how it works, and what all workarounds we have to do. Traditionally, you had to work like this, right? But if, let's say, you know, if you have to execute this statement again, it will give an error, right? So, uh, so if you have to bundle this thing over in a release, you will have to, you know, give all these things into four different alter statements, having four different if exist condition like this, right? because you cannot club all these things into one statement right
one more thing is uh, let's say if you want to add uh, the modified on column here let's say you want to drop the modified on column this won't work right uh, so okay so first of all modified column and let me give the constraint here also okay so this won't work because these columns are already dropped if so but if I execute it again this will give an error because these all are dropped again but there with the use of if exist this will execute but th these will not execute because these are already dropped okay now drop table this again will give you error okay so to make it work what you have to do is you have to remove it from here and take it here if exist okay then you can copy this from over here if exist select star from information schema dot tables where table name equal to employee okay then only you will be able to execute it multiple times let me execute it okay one time fine second time third time fifth time right so this will execute and similarly with the stored procedure so as I uh, showed you there create a stored procedure drop it okay so it won't execute okay so I have to execute it like this so if I execute it like this again it will give error but if I bind it in if exists statement so it won't give me this error right so why do we do this you might be wondering like why we do this why just you know at once we'll execute it so as I already told you when we deploy a release to our dev or a test or you at our production server our scripts ideally should be rerunnable let's say in some point of time the script failed in between so if you have to execute the script again the drop procedure if it is just like that drop procedure the script will run again and this will fail right so what we do normally is we put these type of uh, if exist conditions so that you know if the script runs again the already dropped procedure this script won't run right so we make so we add this condition over here but with this particular condition we won't have to you know add all these conditions right so a lot of effort and time will be saved okay and uh, I really appreciate this particular feature uh, for identity SQL Server 2016 and look forward to using it okay this is it for today thanks a lot for watching this video please subscribe my channel by subscribing you will get to know about the latest videos that I post Okay, thanks a lot.